What's up, God? This is a twin flame reading for the collective. Today is September 29th evening, and I'm reading for the energy of September 30th. Great news. September 30th is the beginning of the Kabbalistic New Year. Um, let's see. The name of the Kabbalistic New Year. It's like I can't pronounce it. <laughs> Let me try to pronounce it before I make a fool of myself. Um, let's see. Rosh Hashanah. Rosh Hashanah. I don't know. Rosh Hashanah. But anyway, it is the beginning of the Kabbalistic New Year. So happy New Year. We can expect um, new beginnings for a movement. The end of stagnation. You should be working on creative endeavors. Removing yourself of karmic energy. Looking forward to the future. Working towards the future. Ridding yourself of things that no longer serve your positive purpose. Forward movement. North node um, actions. And ridding yourself of karmics and self node and, and energy that no longer serves you for the future. They say it also may even be some tough love, some tough decisions, but keep your head up. It's the beginning of the Kabbalistic New Year and more life is on the horizon. So things that could be ending and also beginning. Um, so I want to start, um, before I begin, I want to pull, I'm going to start with the Uno card for overall energy of the reading. I'm loving the energy that I'm getting from these Uno cards. It's just bringing me more insight and clarity. And I love that I can pick up a deck regardless of what it is and read the situation. I just love, love, love that. So I'm going to start with that. But before I begin, remember this is a general reading. Take it as it resonates, as it, as it pertains to content and as it pertains to timing. If you would like a personal reading more specific to your situation, my website is ashleygiller.com. The link is in my description box. I'll be happy to deliver that to you. I did a reading today for a young lady, and oh man, her life is about to take off. It was so, so many positive vibes and energies in her reading. Um, and it was her life is kind of in sync with the Kabbalistic New Year, ridding herself of karmic energy, but also, um, for movement and career and love. But anyway, if you need something more personal, I'll be happy to deliver it for you. The link is in the description box. Today's reading was brought to you by GymBodyTMC.com, my um, hoodie brand, my fitness brand, hoodie brand. Click the link in my description if you'd like to know more about that as well. Again, tarot is not a dictator. Tarot is guidance. Tarot is leadership. Tarot is insight and clarity. Tarot may even be predictive. Tarot is not impeding upon your free will. You have free will. Tarot is spiritual guidance leading you to more insight and clarity into the situation help you to make better decisions, but you ultimately make the decisions. Um, if you're making decisions based on information from readings that general readings on YouTube, make sure that you're in tune with your intuition and you, you're sure that message is for you. Um, otherwise, you should order a private reading and make use your discernment. What else? It's a three-way street. So when you get an intuitive message, whether it's general or private, personal reading, you know, use your insight and clarity. Is I is spirit working for both of us? It's our our guys, ancestors, our higher selves coming together for a message, coming through me or whatever reading you use as a tool to get the message to you. So you also have to be intuitive to receive the message as it pertains to your life as well. All right. Without further ado. Let's get this Twin Flame reading going. I'm feeling so good, guys. I'm feeling so good. Positive vibes, positive energy. Things are really about to take off. We got New Moon and Libra. We got the Kabbalistic New Year. We got four and one. Interesting. Hmm. Interesting, interesting, interesting. Uh, I'm getting a lot of energy from this four and one. One, I'm getting the energy of five, which is the number of change. So we can expect some sort of change. And if I put this here, hmm. <laughs> oh, man. Oh. Nine, six, six, nine, masculine, feminine energy. But, we're, but I'm, and it's also another, um, yep. And then, yeah, okay. All right, six, nine, six. Balance, harmony, um, yin, yang, 
So someone is about to take the initiative. Okay. I love this, you guys. I like stuff like this get me so hyped, like and excited. I just, I don't know, spiritual connection is something unexplainable. It feels so good. Anyway, with these fours and ones, something's about to change. Someone had a change of heart, a change of mind, and it could be like masculine is now embodying a feminine energy with the nine, six, six, with the nine, six, nine, or whatever, or six, nine, six. It's like the feminine and the masculine reversing roles, and there was a change. And now the masculine is going to take initiative to bring a solid foundation and bring union to both of their lives. With the one and the four, it's like the, someone taking initiative, you know, cardinal energy, Aries energy, like take an initiative to come together as a union, as a pair with both masculine and feminine energies internally and externally. But I really feel like I'm feeling external, like externally bringing forth a partnership with on a solid foundation. It's like, finally the masculine is like enlightened and it's like that enlightened lights fire in his or her ass and makes them want to manifest this connection anymore. Super exciting energy. Ooh, I love it. Ooh, I love it. Oh, man. Listen, this Kabbalistic New Year, with new moon, so many things are in Libra right now. We got, like, Venus in Libra. Is Venus in Libra yet? But it's, like, so many different, um, let me look at Kabbalah.com. It's a lot of things in Libra right now. Everything is moving into the Libra, and it's, it's amazing. It's amazing. It's going to bring so much good energy into our lives and change and power. I hope you guys' days are going well. Please like, subscribe, comment, share. Help me get my channel popping. I should expect for a movement in my channel as well. It's been moving slowly. It's been moving slowly but surely. So I'm very grateful for it. Guys. The sun. Enjoy success and happiness. Honor your inner knowing. Connect with your emotions. Ooh, yes, yes, yes. Ignite your passions. Honor your inner knowing. Okay. So this adds, I don't know where that messed up at. So this adds the energy of, okay. Things are starting to manifest. Uh, not just in a sense of this connection, but like in life, in career, and it's just next level type energy. The sun finally appearing after a period of change, after a period of hardship. It's like the sun finally appears. And you can enjoy that. Connect with your emotions. It's almost like you're afraid or like maybe we're afraid like to connect with the fact that things are starting to manifest. Everything is going to be okay. You don't have to be afraid that this connection, this divine partnership finally coming together. You don't have to be afraid. I'm sorry, my computer keeps messing up. That this connection manifesting is going to hurt you. Or that success in finally for movement in your career and your life is going to somehow hurt. Somehow hurt you. It's not going to hurt you. This is here to stay. It's finally manifesting because it's time. It's divine timing. And this, this cycle that you've been on that you just completed was not to hurt you. It's to advance you. So you don't have to be afraid to connect with your emotions. You don't have to be afraid of things turning sour again. No, like things, This your life is moving forward. Success is near. Love is near. Happiness and fulfillment is near. The sun is here to stay. The sun is here. You, you're going to enjoy your time in the sun. There's nothing to be afraid of. You're allowed to be happy. You're allowed to be free and connect with this energy of abundance in all levels of your life, in all areas of your life. Yeah, ignite your passions. Be brave. Be honest. I'm connecting with these cards. Honor your inner knowing. Be brave and honest. Ignite your passions. So as it pertains to this connection, don't... Go within. Be brave. Don't don't be afraid to embrace this connection. It's the real thing this time. It's not you're you're not back through karmic cycles. It's finally manifesting in the way that it should manifest as a divine couple. Yes, yes, yes. Fire up and passions. Everything is manifesting and it's and honor your inner knowing. 
and we're going to get more into this card and why they're telling us to honor our inner knowing as we continue this reading. Yes, 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 yes. Honor your inner knowing. Hopefully my computer stopped messing up. It's just, you know, I'm sick of that. Ooh, yeah, yeah, yeah. And I'm going to pull the blue deck. I'm going to pull the blue deck for more information on the feminine and masculine if I need it. The red for the masculine. Listen, Linda, listen. We're about to go up. It's like going up on that Tuesday. Mm -mm -mm. We get about to go up. That's so long. That's such an old song. I don't know why I'm singing it, but it's about to go amazing. Try to close out some tabs because I don't want my computer to stop. Ooh. The star. I called. Ooh. Come on now. All right. I want to get some clarifying energy on here. So we have the star and we have the devil. Child. We're going to have some hating going on. It's like um, being in a spotlight. Um Aquarian energy. I called the star Sagittarius the other day, but I felt like though it's a Sagittarius being connected, the reason why I make that mistake, it had to be a Sagittarius connected to that. But anyway, I now have a lot of Sagittarius in my chart, even though I'm a sun and moon Libra. Anyway, with the star, it's like finally the recognition you deserve, being energetic. You have the sun. We have the sun and the star. The sun is also a star. I love it. So it's like um, recognition of following vitality, energy, a new energetic flow of life. And we're going to get, some, it's going to be some people hating on that. You know, with every action, equal and opposite reaction. So as you are flourishing and connecting to people, places, and things, and, and rising up and receiving the recognition you deserve and receiving the love you deserve, you're gonna there's the opposite as well that wants to stop it the opposition so let's pull some i grab the masculine um deck to clarify yep okay yep okay mm. three we got three of pentacles and we have three of wands interesting 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 and five of wands on the bottom of it so this this energy of star in in the devil it could be a bit intimidating for the masculine but with the five of wands it's it's, it's conflict it's, it's some sort of internal con an external conflict that's kind of intimidating the masculine this star energy and this devil energy so it this, think of the star as like the feminine finally rising up and the devil as opposing forces bringing negative energy to the situation. And so what type of negativity as it pertains to the masculine being used by the opposition in a way of self-doubt? So remember, when we talk about the devil or when people talk about the devil, some people think of this red horns, hail, fire. No, it's very, it's much more practical in the physical reality, like doubt, like negativity, like holding, like fear, like holding on to karmics, people, places, and things that no longer serve North No, no longer serve for movement or positive purpose in your life. It's fear, it's, it's, it's confusion. That's how the, in uncontrolling your emotions, that's how the opposition operates in the physical reality. So it's like the masculine can't there is going to be some energy of intimidation some energy of um conflict but not to worry with the threes it's like the divine is on the masculine uh, team too working towards bringing it together manifesting this connection anyway because you have god like three is the, the holy trinity and we are all a part of it with masculine feminine energies and the creator so regardless of what the opposition try to do it's not going to get away of, of this connection let's let's see what it does what cards we get for the feminine okay you can see here this came out and yeah okay 
All right. So, guys, beware of the opposition. We got the three of uh, the... Just got it for the masculine, got it for the feminine, too. It's our will. The three of wands is about the will. Willpower and the will. Yes. So, the competition and conflict and, you know kind of intimidation would impede upon the masculine's will. That's what the opposition is going to try to impede upon the masculine's will with intimidating, intimidating tactics. And the feminine is like impede upon the feminine's will with this decision. With the Ace of Cups um, and the Two and the Two of Pentacles, it's like a choice needs to be made. You know? Who fulfills me? It's like this level of fulfillment. And I love the Ace of Cups because it reminds me of my cup runneth over. But so much that what am I to do? <sighs> am I ready to decide? It's like the will to begin again. The will to make a decision. Be afraid of fear, nothing but fear itself. There is a saying, it's it's real. Because don't let the opposition, the devil, bring fear to your heart or your situation or your relationships or your divine partnership. Let's keep pulling. That's, that was amazing. Yeah, be aware of the opposition working to bring fear into your heart or your life or your decisions. You got this. We have nothing to worry about. We have the tower. Ooh. This offer comes in, changes your world. This offer is life changing. This offer, and I want to pull more cards. So, what is the masculine in this page of Pentacles and Tower its energy as it pertains to? this offer that changes both of their lives i think it's like intimidation on the feminine because it's like this offer or whoever i choose changes everything it just changes everything and the masculine is just we're afraid of rejection but let's see come on cars i heard you trying to come out masculine how do you feel Oh, no. Emotions all over the place. Two of cups on the bottom of that. Yep. Emotions all over the place. The masculine. Gain control of your emotions. Had the two of cups. Y'all saw that two of cups. Two of hearts. Two of cups. Emotions all over the place. What the fail? Listen. Didn't I tell y'all? Yes. Okay. Ten of Cups and the Four of Pentacles. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Nine of Wands. Yes, okay. So with this decision, this Page of Pentacles in a Tower, it brings to the masculine the energy of wanting to hold on to this connection. Wanting, and this, this is a test. This is going to be a test for the masculine as well. Wanting to hold on to this feeling of fulfillment and completion that the feminine gives him or her. And it's going to be a test because with the nine of wands on there, this is not going to be easy because one, he has to overcome the thought of being rejected. Two, he has to overcome the thought of being intimidated. You got the opposition in the masculine's ear bringing intimidation, bringing fear, bringing uh, doubt, you know? So it's a hump the masculine's going to have to get over, especially since he wants to hold on, he or she wants to hold on to the feminine and this new phase of life and completion and fulfillment in order to get there you're gonna the masculine is gonna be tested. Actually, this is a test for the masculine and the feminine. This is the last test. The last test before it's time to come together. I wonder should I just take this? We have four of wands. Didn't I just fucking say this shit? <laughs> the seven of swords wants to be shown too. Okay. We have the nine of wands and the four of wands. For the feminine and the energy of this page of pentacles in the tower. We have the ace of pentacles on the bottom of the deck. Ace of wands right next to it. And the seven of swords wanted to show itself. The seven of spades, which is the seven of swords, wants to show itself as well. 
It's a test for the feminine as well. So what the opposition is using to kind of test, God, our divine guides allow these tests. They're like, okay, let's see what this masculine and feminine has learned from this journey. It's like our guys and God, you know how God allowed Job to be tested by the opposition? Just, to, no, I have, it's like, it's like God had faith in Job so much like now my son job my son job won't deny me my son job will pass the test you can do it just don't touch it was certain things that the opposition couldn't touch in job but it was like everything was you're allowed to everything else is okay you know and job got bigger and better after the test so it's like god our, our guides our god and you know the divine allowing the opposition to test everything we learned along this journey so the masculine, uh, with the feminine, I'm sorry, we already talked about the masculine. The feminine is going to be this influx of opposite opportunity, trying to get in the way. So in order to keep the feminine or confuse the feminine, the feminine, remember I said the opposition works through confusion as well. Then it's going to be um, other offers, confusing the feminine. So the, again, burden or the obstacle for the feminine to get over to union will be to choose one. To choose one. Yep. Choose one. The feminine's obstacle. Who do I want to be in union with? Yep. Man, so both the masculine and feminine is about to go through a test. Wow. No worries. We'll pass it. Yeah. We're learning growth from whatever it is. We'll pass it. Ooh. Nine of Cups, Ace of Pentacles, and Justice. And I'll leave this bottom of the deck. Ten of Cups. Came out twice. Ten of Cups. Didn't it come out? Something came out with the masculine energy. Anyway, it's like completion. Ooh, all of these wanted to show. Y'all saw how that just happened? Under the Ten of Cups, we have the Seven of Wands and the Nine of Swords. You know, how that's another way the opposition works. And Ten of Swords right under there. So we're almost done. The opposition works through anxiety as well. But stand your ground. Both masculine and feminine energies. Stand your ground. You know what you want. And go within. Get in touch. Connect with your emotions. Did you not connect with your emotions? And... Honor your inner knowing. Listen, you've been on this journey for however long you've been on it for a reason. You know what to do. Go within. Honor that inner knowing and go with it. We knew, and because we're being tested, I knew it was a reason that was gonna that was coming out. We're being tested, masculine and feminine energies. Honor that inner knowing. You know what to do. But with this justice, ace of pentacles, and the nine of cups. Of course, this is abundance. Of course, this is blessings. Um, but look, it's almost like 9, 10, 11. 9, then with the Ace of Pentacles, 10. And then with the Justice, 11. Look at it. 9, 11, too. It's like 9, 10, 11. Going through the steps to enlightenment or... Going through the steps to the ultimate level of enlightenment. Or taking the steps to union. Taking the steps to that the, the chosen ones all have to take. In order to enter that next phase of life that's more balanced. That's blessed. Full of opportunities. <sighs> yeah, we're almost there. We're almost there. It's power. Yeah, it brings everything back into balance. New beginnings. New blessings and new beginnings. Let's, I'm going to clarify that some more with... I'll use my clarifying deck this time. Let's clarify this. Nine of Cups, Justice, and Ace of Pentacles. I can't believe we're both being tested. Oh, man. When I was reading about... Uh, guys, um, I keep forgetting how to pronounce this. But when I was reading about the Kabbalistic New Year, Rosh Hashanah, 
Um, it said tough love. The divine bestows tough love on us. So this test we're about to go through before union, tough love. It's like, did you learn from this journey? What did you learn? Let's see what you learned from this journey. Let's see if you're ready for this next phase of life where you're a teacher, you're light workers, and you're helping other people. And you're helping other people to get through their journeys. Let, let's see that. Let's see what you learn. And it's going to be, it's, it's not going to be easy. Yes, you'll be blessed. Yes, things are going up. But this is definitely not going to be easy test. Yep, let's look at this. To clarify this justice, this nine of cups and the ace of pentacles, we have a conflict, we have a decision that needs to be made, we have the page of wands, we have the higher hierophant, and we have the five of cups. Leaving things behind, walking away from a few things, maybe feeling some kind of way about it, going within, what inspires you, what, what overflows you, because um, you have the ace of cups on the bottom of the deck as well. What brings you fulfillment? What brings you happiness? Going through a period of not even making a decision with the Page of Wands. Maybe a little inaction. But ultimately making a decision to come together. Two fives there. The number of God's grace. Before God's grace. It's, it's a major test before God's grace. When David, um, the Israelite, and I resonated with the, I resonated with the tribe of Judah, so I may have you know, examples that you may not believe it, I don't know, but I have dreams that led me that led me to the understanding that I'm a remnant of the children of Israel and, and the tribe of Judah. I've dream, dreamt about the lion protecting me. But anyway, before David was entered into the next level, he had to beat the giant. This is our giant. This is our this test is our giant. Did you learn anything? It's, and David took all that David learned to beat the giant. It didn't. He didn't need armor. He didn't need guns. He just that one stone. He had one stone. The fifth stone is what took him to the next level. And that fifth stone was made of everything he learned you know, along the way. It was God's grace. It was the gift of God. It was the gift that God gave David. So as feminines, we're going to have to use our gifts to overcome these obstacles. As masculines, they're going to have to use their gifts. We're, we're both gifted. We both have masculine and feminine energies to overcome this obstacle and beat this test and come together as a union it's worth it's really worth it a divine partnership is worth it just imagine if david had felt like beating goliath wasn't wasn't worth the battle or the risk no it it was certainly worth it he's he became king so for us to be nation leaders light workers light workers um leaders of our kingdoms and queendoms this is our test You can do it. You can do it. God, the divine, our guides, our ancestors, they have faith in us. We can do it. But this is it. Prepare. It's coming. And I'm going to leave this here. I'm going to leave it here. I don't feel the need to pull any more cards. This is our test. We just have to get through it. Guys, thank you for watching. Thank you for liking, subscribing, commenting. Thank you for your love an outpour of support. I appreciate each and every one of you viewing, new, old, all of you. And I wish you love, I wish you light, and I wish you more light. Peace. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to visit ashleygillard.com. That's A-S-H-L-E-Y-G-U-I-L-L-A-R-D dot com. To book a tarot reading, you can book a business reading for your business or business idea with an action plan where I'll detail exactly spiritual advice on what you need to make it a success. Or you can book a personal reading with any question that you may have. Again, thanks for your support. I wish you love. I wish you light. And I wish you more life. Peace.